Camden County gave an update on the new normal in education today, and concerns about COVID-19 are top of mind. Eyewitness News reporter Natasha Brown has the story. The start of the fall semester here at Camden County College means campus is usually bustling with students. Like most colleges, the pandemic has changed everything. On any given day, maybe 20% of our student population is on campus, which allows us to more easily social distance. It allows us to keep class sizes down. College President Don Borden says they're complying with CDC guidelines and in frequent communication with state health officials in case cases rise. We've had cases, but we have not had many. Um, when we've had them, we immediately contact the Department of Health in the county. Uh, they take care of the tracing aspect of the process. Will this school year uh, be a successful school year? Education officials in Camden County gave an update on their COVID-19 responses, with public schools now back in session, both in a hybrid and remote learning setting. School districts are still working out the regular day-to-day -day kinks, dealing with issues around technology accessibility, mm -hmm. dealing with issues of staffing, making sure that there's coverage for classes, uh, the, it, busing for those districts that are still working in a hybrid environment. While those in primary, secondary, and higher education navigate the era of educating within a health crisis, Camden County officials say they're taking it one day, one case at a time, as they tweak their learning programs. We have to be prepared in case we go fully remote again, should the numbers go up and, and people get you know, deathly ill. And our priority is going to be on everybody's safety. In terms of school districts around Camden County, 28 are operating under hybrid learning plans, 25 are all remote, and three are in full-time learning settings. Meantime, we are learning that Gloucester Catholic Private School is reverting back to an all-remote setting after two staff members tested positive for COVID-19. In Gloucester Township, New Jersey, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.